The United States is home to some of the most awe-inspiring megaprojects on the planet, showcasing the very best of modern engineering. These colossal undertakings push the boundaries of what's technically possible, transforming the nation's infrastructure and technological landscape. Today, let's dive into the most monumental megaprojects across the country and uncover the staggering complexity involved in bringing these giants to life. Prepare to be amazed by the ingenuity and sheer scale of these engineering marvels. Number 1. Atlanta Beltline Project the Atlanta Beltline Project is an ambitious and comprehensive revitalization effort aiming to transform a historic 22-mile railroad corridor encircling downtown Atlanta into a dynamic multi-use trail, modern streetcar line, and expansive green space. Initiated in the early 2000s and projected to continue through 2030, this grand endeavor is not only redefining urban transit but also enhancing community connectivity and sustainability. With an estimated cost exceeding $4.8 billion, it's one of the largest urban redevelopment projects in the United States. The Beltline aims to connect 45 in-town neighborhoods with multi-use trails, promoting walking, biking, and public transit over reliance on automobiles. This effort addresses several critical urban challenges, including the need for improved public transportation options and the promotion of a more sustainable lifestyle. By using existing railroad tracks for the trail and transit system, the project integrates historic infrastructure into modern urban design. However, the Beltline has faced significant challenges, particularly in terms of funding and community engagement. Balancing the diverse needs and expectations of various stakeholders, residents, and city officials has required continuous dialogue and adaptation. Additionally, the project navigates complex logistical challenges associated with constructing and maintaining infrastructure across active urban environments without significant disruptions to the daily lives of Atlanta's residents. Overall, the Atlanta Beltline project exemplifies the potential for urban redevelopment to transform cities into more connected, sustainable, and vibrant communities. As it progresses, the Beltline is expected to enhance Atlanta's appeal, improve quality of life for residents, and attract new businesses and tourists to the area. Number 2. Bayonne Bridge Raising Project The Bayonne Bridge Raising Project is an extraordinary engineering feat located over the Kill Van Cull, connecting Staten Island, New York, to Bayonne, New Jersey. This project was initiated to address the critical need for modern cargo ships to access the ports of Newark and Elizabeth, New Jersey, which are among the busiest on the eastern seaboard. The original bridge, completed in 1931, had a navigational clearance that was too low for the new generation of ultra-large container vessels introduced with the expansion of the Panama Canal. Completed in 2019, the project successfully raised the bridge's roadway from 151 feet to 215 feet above the water level while maintaining the iconic arch design. This adjustment made it possible for ships nearly twice the size of those previously accommodated to pass underneath significantly increasing the operational capacity and efficiency of the port facilities. The project cost was approximately $1.7 billion, reflecting both its scale and complexity. One of the significant challenges was executing the work without disrupting the heavy vehicular traffic on the bridge, which necessitated innovative construction methods and careful scheduling. In terms of its engineering methodology, the project was notable for its use of the raise the roadway technique. This method involved building a new roadway above the existing one while traffic continued below and then removing the lower roadway upon completion. Comparing the scale of the Bayonne Bridge project to other engineering projects, its new 215-foot clearance is high enough to accommodate an NFL football field standing on end. The Bayonne Bridge raising faced numerous challenges during its execution, including technical difficulties inherent in working with existing structures, the need to maintain stringent safety standards, and unpredictable weather conditions over the strait. The project also had to navigate complex regulatory and environmental approvals, coordinating with multiple governmental bodies and community stakeholders to mitigate impacts on the surrounding areas. Number 3. Olmsted Locks and Dam Project the Olmsted Locks and Dam Project on the Ohio River is a monumental undertaking designed to replace aging infrastructure and modernize the waterway system. This project is crucial for the transportation of billions of dollars worth of goods annually across the central United States. 
Officially completed in 2018 after over 30 years of planning and construction, the project spans across the river and involved an extraordinary financial investment of approximately $3 billion. The construction required the sustained effort of hundreds of engineers, technicians, and laborers over several decades, underscoring the project's scale and complexity. The Olmsted project replaced two older and less efficient facilities, locks and dams 52 and 53, which had become increasingly unreliable, causing significant delays in river traffic and logistical inefficiencies. The new structure consists of a navigational pass and two parallel 110-foot by 1,200-foot locks, significantly easing the river traffic and allowing for the smooth passage of approximately 90 million tons of cargo yearly. One of the notable challenges of the Olmsted Locks and Dam was its innovative construction method, specifically the use of in-the-wet technology. Unlike traditional dry dock methods, this technique involves assembling large modular sections of the dam on land, then floating them to their installation site on the river. The total amount of concrete used in the dam's construction would be enough to pave a sidewalk stretching from New York to San Francisco. A special feature of the Olmsted Locks and Dam is its resilience to seismic activity. The region is near the New Madrid fault line, and as such, the structure was designed to withstand significant earthquakes, ensuring the long-term stability and safety of this critical infrastructure. The project's importance extends beyond just its immediate functionality. By improving the reliability and efficiency of the Ohio River as a navigational channel, the Olmsted Locks and Dam also bolsters the economic viability of river transportation, which is significantly more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly compared to road and rail transport. Number 4. Boston Green Line Extension The Green Line Extension, GLX, project in Boston is a transformative public transit initiative aimed at enhancing services by connecting the densely populated but underserved areas of Somerville and Medford to the existing subway network. This extension, which began major construction efforts around 2018 and was completed in 2023, aims to increase accessibility to central Boston, thereby improving the daily commute for thousands of residents. Initially estimated at $2 billion, the project's budget saw an increase to nearly $2.3 billion due to unforeseen construction and environmental challenges. The GLX spans approximately 4.7 miles, adding seven new stations along two branches one terminating at Union Square in Somerville and the other at Tufts University in Medford. These new tracks and stations are expected to serve about 45,000 riders daily, significantly easing traffic congestion and reducing commute times in these high-density corridors. One of the most critical problems the GLX project addresses is the reduction of vehicle emissions by providing a reliable and efficient public transit alternative, thereby contributing to the state's environmental goals. The project employed advanced construction methods, including the use of track-laying machines that allowed for faster, more efficient installation of rail lines. Additionally, substantial upgrades to existing infrastructure, such as the improvement of bridges and roads along the extension path, ensured the new service would be integrated smoothly with minimal disruption. Challenges encountered during the GLX project included managing complex logistics in densely populated areas, mitigating noise and disruption to local communities, and addressing cost overruns and delays, which were exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite these challenges, the successful completion of the GLX represents a significant milestone in improving Boston's public transit system and fostering sustainable urban development. Number 5. Aloha Stadium Replacement Project The Aloha Stadium Replacement Project in Halawa, Hawaii, is a significant undertaking aimed at revitalizing the sports and entertainment capabilities of Hawaii's most populous island, Oahu. This ambitious project replaces the aging Aloha Stadium, originally built in 1975, which had become increasingly costly to maintain and no longer met modern safety or functionality standards. Scheduled for completion in 2028, the new stadium complex is anticipated to cost over $350 million. The project covers an extensive area of approximately 98 acres, with the new stadium expected to seat around 35,000 spectators, down from the old stadium's capacity but designed to offer improved sightlines and amenities. This size makes it comparable to the StubHub Center in California, though with enhanced technological integrations. Employing around 2,000 workers during peak construction phases, the project faces unique challenges, 
such as logistics complications related to material shipping and the high cost of labor and supplies in Hawaii. The new stadium will employ modern construction techniques, including the use of sustainable materials and energy-efficient designs to minimize its environmental footprint. Features like solar power generation and water reclamation systems are planned to make it one of the greenest stadiums in the nation. A key problem that the new Aloha Stadium aims to solve is the economic inefficiency of its predecessor. The old stadium was increasingly costly to repair, and its outdated design limited its appeal for high-profile events. Additionally, the replacement project includes mixed-use developments such as hotels, retail spaces, and residential areas, which are expected to generate significant economic benefits for the local community. These developments will be integrated into a larger entertainment district designed to attract both residents and tourists, contributing to the local economy. The project also emphasizes community involvement, with local stakeholders engaged in the planning process to ensure that the new stadium meets the needs and expectations of the Hawaiian people. Number 6. Gothel's Bridge Rebuilding Project The Gothel's Bridge Rebuilding Project, connecting Elizabeth, New Jersey, to Staten Island, New York, is a significant infrastructural upgrade aimed at replacing the original bridge built in 1928. Completed in 2018, the project cost approximately $1.5 billion and involved the construction of modern twin spans, each supporting three lanes of traffic, additional shoulders, and a future pedestrian and bike pathway. This new structure addresses the inadequacies of the original bridge, which had become outdated and unable to efficiently handle modern traffic volumes. One of the project's primary goals was to improve traffic flow and safety, a necessity given the bridge's role as a critical link in the regional transportation network. The new bridge accommodates an average of 85,000 vehicles daily, providing a more reliable and efficient crossing for commuters and commercial traffic. The project utilized modular construction methods, with major components fabricated off-site and then transported to the installation location, minimizing the impact on local traffic and reducing construction time. Environmental considerations were a significant part of the planning and execution of the Gothel's Bridge rebuilding project. Efforts were made to protect the local marine environment, with measures such as installing temporary bubble curtains to minimize underwater noise during pile driving, which can be harmful to fish and other aquatic life. The new bridge also features state-of-the-art stormwater management systems to reduce runoff and protect water quality in the surrounding areas. A unique aspect of the Gothel's Bridge project is its preparation for future smart transportation technologies. The bridge includes provisions for the installation of Intelligent Transportation Systems, ITS, that can facilitate real-time traffic monitoring and management, improving safety and efficiency for all users. This forward-thinking design aligns with broader trends in infrastructure modernization, which emphasize the integration of advanced technologies to enhance the functionality and resilience of critical transport networks. Thank you for joining us on this journey through America's engineering marvels. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of innovation with us.